I believe most of us here love social media, because who doesn't, right? But sometimes we might see something that is heartbreaking or traumatic to see. As usual, I was scrolling through my social media and I came across a TED Talk video of this one woman. I couldn't get her story out of my head. I was scared and surprised at the same time. And I thought that her story was very worth sharing. And today, I'm here to share you guys that story of human trafficking. As a warning, some of the upcoming pictures in this slideshow might be slightly graphic, so please be aware. Hi, I'm Tian Hom, also known as PJ, and let me introduce you guys to Marky Dale, a 26 years old human trafficking survivor. Marky was once just a regular 19 years old Canadian teenager, but when she was 19, she was a victim of human trafficking. Marky was very shy, very awkward, and always had a hard time making friends. Her life was great until one day she met this girl. I'll call her Steph. Steph invited Marky over to her house for a night party. All was fine until the next morning. Steph told Marky that she owed her a huge amount of money. Marky was shocked. She didn't have enough money. As a result of that, Steph forced Marky to work at go work at the strip club. And no, that wasn't it. Steph drove Marky back to her house with three men waiting with drugs. Marky was put on drugs and raped. Imagine being just a small little innocent girl and having to be in such a situation. How would you feel if you were her? She wanted to warn people out there that human trafficking is very dangerous and it's everywhere out there. Of course, none of us here, no ISB students, have experienced human trafficking, but it is important for us to learn more about it. Human trafficking can happen to anyone, regardless to any age or gender. It could happen to you or to me at any time. So, what is human trafficking? According to the anti-slavery organization, human trafficking is a modern-day slavery and is a process of trapping people through the use of violence and exploiting them for financial or personal gain. It's basically humans selling humans alive. Think about that. Who are the victims of human trafficking? As I mentioned earlier, anyone can be a victim. It could be young children, teenagers, men, or women. Traffickers usually target those with noticeable needs or weaknesses or those who are defenseless. And that is why the main targets of traffickers are usually men, women, and young minors. This global phenomenon currently affects 40.3 million people around the world. 184 people is a victim of human trafficking. Thailand is in the top 10 countries with the highest number of human trafficking victims around the world. There are so many people out there that are suffering and dealing with such a cruel action that none of us here could never, ever be able to imagine. According to the World Economic Forum, there are many types of human trafficking, but the main ones are sexual exploitation, domestic servitude, and forced labor. The main purpose of human trafficking is to raise as much profits for traffickers as possible. Now, let me tell you some of the possible consequences for a victim. Victims who are being abused often suffer serious physical and mental health consequences, such as anxiety, depression, eating disorders, and many more. Let me ask you something. Do you think this is how humans should treat humans? Of course, no. Human trafficking ruins lives. It's no different from being dead but alive. It's there with a victim forever. It's a nightmare that will forever hunt a victim. As I said, we might not be so concerned about this because most of us here have a family that is ready to protect us at all costs. Thanks, mom and dad. But let me tell you what. Most of us here have more than the potential to protect just ourselves. We can even become a part of making a difference and helping people out there. First of all, we have to be able to identify a possible victims of human trafficking. Majority of victims would appear overly fearful and paranoid. Sometimes, you might even see bruises on their bodies. 
If you suspect that someone might be a victim of human trafficking, you have to report your suspicion to the police. Secondly, you can even become a part of an entire trafficking organization, such as Prelis, Destiny's Rescue, Unseen, or many more. Last but not least, raise awareness. The problem will not end unless people are informed that it's there in the first place. Educate people, tell them, talk about human trafficking. Tell them to be aware that it's everywhere out there. Who knows, just a few words being said by you might save someone's life. The last key takeaway for me today is to stay safe, protect yourself and others surrounding you. Stay aware of human trafficking. Thank you.